Hungry? What's next? I'll get them ready. Need help? Fenrir got some sleep. Maybe he'll be ready to eat when we get home. He is quite sick, Atreus. I know, but he was a little better yesterday. Until he wasn't. If he keeps eating, I'm not giving up on him. Oh, Father! I have you! Oh, 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 oh. 
Hold tight! The protection stave is near! Dave, we made it. Let us go home. It's Becky, it's Vana. Up. I'm sorry I couldn't take the shot. I did not wish you to. I keep hoping she'll let it go. You saved her life. I killed her son. There is no letting that go. Yeah. I guess killing Balder really did bring on Fimblewinter. It never stopped snowing after that day. You think it's ever gonna get better? Hmm. Someday. But the worst is still ahead of us. We must be strong. I got it. I don't hear him. He always says hello. Atreus. Ben Rear. You okay, boy? It's okay, boy. You're okay. I know. I missed you, too. Where's your food? Still hungry? Come on, boy. You need to eat. Eat. What? Too big? <laughs> there you go. Good boy. Near. You must prepare yourself. For what? He's still eating. He wants to live. He is dying. You're a good boy. A brave boy. Fast and strong. But you can rest now. Okay? I'll be okay. You can let go now. 
You have to let go. Sofna. Afra. Desu. Sofna. Hethon. Sofna. 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 No. It's the middle of the night. Night does not stop our enemies. Why? What for? Training is all we ever do. Ever. It's not enough. We can't hide forever. Time is running out. The prophecies say Fimble Winter leads to Ragnarok. War is coming. Whatever Loki's supposed to be doing, he's supposed to be doing it now. My story doesn't end hiding in these woods. I should be out there, finding out who I am, who Loki is. I will not allow you to pick a fight with God. I don't want to fight anyone. I just want answers. And if those answers lead to war with Asgard? Maybe that's what Mother wanted. We do not know what Mother wanted. Looks like we never will. Look. I have a moment alone with Fenrir before I bury him. Recognize that dull expression anywhere. Care to tell me what went wrong? The wolf is gone. Oh, no. Not Fenrir. How's the lad taking it? Not well. He goes to bury him. Oh, damn it. All right, brother. Good night, then.
Kratos? Are you joining me? Faye. Are you ready? You walk as though Emir himself sits atop your shoulders. This is your hunt. I will follow. Very well, Grumbles. Fresh kill. At least it didn't suffer. Hmm. Am I to decipher your grunting? Tell me your thoughts. We hunt the predator. A wolf. Yes. Predators kill. It is the natural order of things. Your words are misguided. Shh. Approach slowly. It's okay, little one. We want to help. Don't we? No, no, don't! Come on. The sick wolf we found beyond our stave. He found his way inside. As I said he would. We should have acted. It was not our concern. Now it is. A problem doesn't have to reach our doorstep for it to be our responsibility. If we have the power to limit the harm it could cause, we should act. Who are we to hide and do nothing? We are not hiding. Gonna make me pick that one up? Mm. Good boy. Atreus. Hence my bellowing. He never came back from burying the wolf. It's been some time. He cannot be far. Baldur's chasm is too unstable, brother. The lad wouldn't try it. This has not been opened. No prints this way either. Brother, I'm quite certain he never came inside. Suppose he took a shortcut through the realm between realms? 
No, the stones have not moved. Let's see. Tracks heading down to the frozen river. That's most likely where he did the burying. Fire's dwindling now. Where else could he have gone from here? He crawled through here. You seem troubled in your sleep. Even for you. Nightmares? I dream of the past. Almost every night. Ah. The bad old days? In Greece? No. It feels like Faze. Trying to tell me something. You don't mean to say you're talking to ghosts again, brother? No. But it is something more than memory. Use your words, brother. The tracks stop here. Loud, Nerman! And we're not alone. on the protection, Steve. There's a tree up ahead, yeah? Well? You were right. But the stave is broken. Explains our trespassers. What happened here? Brother, back there. A dead animal. A struggle? We must find Atreus. Aye. Between the savage beasts and marauding raiders, he may have sought shelter. Follow the trail. We'll find him. Aha! Trail's on the other side of that gap, if you can clear the way. Any idea what could have made the lad wander off? We argued. He accuses me of... hiding from Odin. Eh. Only sensible to keep a low profile after killing three of his kin. A reckoning will come. That is why Atreus must learn to survive on his own. Oh, this is about that prophecy. Just because the giants had you dead on some wall full of otherwise accurate predictions... I do not believe in prophecies. Well, good. I'm skeptical by nature, though we have seen things that defy explanation. So, speaking as the smartest man alive, I have no bloody idea. Off! 
thinking brother but atreus can handle himself you've taught him well so he keeps telling me into that cave. Well, we know where we are going. I'm sure we can find a quiet way in. <laughs> or you could do that. <laughs> are these the raiders you rescued the wolves from? No. They have not been here long. through here leads deeper in there will be more way.
Atreus, are you here? Huh. Well, as for the best, let's find a way out. Perhaps Atreus came here seeking shelter. He kept moving when he saw the raiders, and the bear came barreling after. Impressive rampage, I'll give it that. You think the bear was chasing Atreus? Well, just as likely the bear was hurt and Atreus was chasing it to help. You know the lad. Atreus! Where are you?
before he found us. I prayed Fenrir, and then I'm, I'm not sure. I was so sad, and then I was angry and scared. I remember running. There was a bear. Charging and I charged back? That had to be a dream. Your emotions, they transformed you. Uh, I, I, I didn't know I could do that.
is why we must not abandon your training. We do not know the reach of your abilities. And we will be dangerous without discipline to control them. You've already taught me discipline. I need more than that. I need answers. Answers you don't have. Answers only your mother had. That's how she withheld. What if there was someone who could help us? Someone that could give us answers about the giants and who Loki's supposed to be? Atreus. Wouldn't it help to understand what I'm becoming? Atreus! Listen to me. I might have killed you. Until you learn control, we will take no unnecessary risks. Inaction is also a risk. You taught me that. Stop thinking like a father for a moment and start thinking like a general. No! Are we going to discuss the boy becoming a bear? Yeah. Are we? Not now. We need to repair the protection stave and get home. What happened to the protection stave? You did. So you're blaming me? I am not blaming you, Atreus. Well, tell your voice that. <laughs> Say the word, Father. Incoming fire! So, lad, besides your gift of language and hearing creatures' thoughts, are there any other new magical abilities to report? Not really. What of Fenrir? What about him? When he died, you cast a spell. No, I didn't. But I saw light. I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm. Trick of Fimble Winter, perhaps. Seen my share. <laughs> oh. I recognize where we are now. What's with all the blood? Yours, Atreus. Seriously? That, or any prey you might have been dragging, I suppose. Not sure that makes me feel any better. I didn't mean to. 
Intent does not matter. Only consequences. What? What can we do? Nothing. Nature will take its course. been like this all night. They must have been inside the stave when I fixed it. <sighs> Sometimes I really wish Tyr's temple still worked so we could get out of Midgard. They say Fimblewinter affects all realms, lad. Okay, but how could things be any worse than here? Hey, Svana, you're not scared. You're a brave girl. Good. Brave girl. That's right. He's good with them. No surprise, really. Atreus! I'm just checking on... To bed! Yes, sir. As evenings go, that was entirely too eventful. Well, I admit it was a bit like old times there, for the moment. The three of us navigating some hitherto unhappened-upon patch of forest. Been a while since you've joined us, if that's what you mean. Ah, well, just tired, I suppose. You've seen one deer hunt, you've seen them all. How can you feel tired when you never sleep? There are other kinds of tired, lad. You'll see when you're older. Now have a proper rest, my brothers. Things are always brighter in the morning. Ball. 